Hey everyone, what's happening? Wazoo here, and this is the second video of the 7 Day Roguelike 2023 Game Jam competition. I'm just going through some of these entries and yeah, playing them here on video for your enjoyment. Okay, so first up we've got a game called Blunt Quaternion. It's from Escape Character, and here we are on the homepage. Um, all the links for the video or for the games that we're trying out will be in the description down below. And yeah, hope you enjoy this. Give it a like. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe to the channel if you want notifications on more of these entries as I go through them. Okay, so here we have a reskinning of the core loop of a traditional roguelike to just the conversations that happen during breaks in the quest. I've taken an ultra simplified set of systems from NetHack plus the circle from that 70s show. So the game is a conversation with randomly selected choices. There's never more than four possible actions at a time. Playable on mobile or desktop using mouse, source here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, begin. Blunt Quaternion. Uh, maybe I'll move my... Yoink, there we go. I'll move my head there a little bit. Let's see what's here. Help restart game. Okay. I guess that's the help. That's all right. Okay, begin. Dungeon level zero, surface entrance. Scholar of the MOM, gnome archaeologist guide. Level 10, XP, 10,000, 40 out of 40. Tell me about your quest. Think deep thoughts. Let's see. Uh, we can either pass or blunt. I'm assuming those are two different actions. Um, let me tell you about your quest or think deep thoughts. Okay, let's let's pass. Uh, you, human ranger, party member, level one, XP 20. Tactics, I should be less aggressive. I should be more aggressive. Think deep thoughts. Um, let's see, I think I'll be more aggressive. Grr. Okay, now what? Blunt. Okay. Uh, cat, party member, level one, XP 20. Hit points four to four. Meow, think deep thoughts, tactics. I should be less aggressive. Let's go for meow. Meow. Uh, blunt, what does blunt do? Okay. Venus, god, guide, level, was it a million? Level a million. XP, not a number. <laughs> 40 million? 40 million hit points, there we go. Uh, think deep thoughts or go my child. Let's try think deep thoughts. I am a god. Okay. Uh, scholar of the MOM, okay, so same thing. Uh, think deep thoughts, I am a guide. Continue delving. Delving, okay, we found two pieces of loot. We got into three battles. Tactics, I should be more aggressive. Let me rummage through our inventory. I should be less, let me rummage through our inventory. What do we have here? I'm gonna eat this egg. I'm gonna quaff this potion of booze. I'm gonna eat this egg. Yum. Blunt. Okay, let's see, meow. Uh, maybe think deep thoughts. I am a party member. Okay. Uh, let's see, Newt. Resident level one. Uh, I can tell you where the good fights are. I can tell you how to avoid monsters on this level. I can tell you where the treasure is. Uh, I can tell you where the good fights are. Time to get good. Uh, cobalt, think deep thoughts. I'm a cobalt. Continue delving. We found two pieces of loot. We got into 12 battles. Uh, I'm off to quaff this potion of polymorph, think deep thoughts, or let me rummage through our inventory. Let's go for the polymorph. I polymorph myself into a human. Blunt. Okay, back to the cat. I should be more aggressive, meow, think deep thoughts. I should be more aggressive. Grr. Uh, back to Newt. Uh, let's think deep thoughts. I am a resident. That's pretty deep, blunt, dwarf. I can tell you where treasure is. I can tell you how to avoid monsters on this level. 
or think deep thoughts. Uh, let's try treasure. You'll get more loot now. Blunt. Okay, continue delving. Our ranger found four pieces of loot. We got into ten battles. Let me tell you of the beauty of Elbereth, man. Tactics that should be more aggressive. Tactics that should be less aggressive. Okay. I've asked Elbereth to protect us for the next delve. Blunt. Uh, meow. Think deep thoughts. I'm going to eat this food ration. Uh, let's eat. Yum. Uh, cobalt. Think deep thoughts. I am a cobalt. We found two pieces of loot. Thank Elbereth for protecting us. Okay, I noticed this side went was starting to go down. I don't know if this is like a timer, a move timer of some kind, or our health, party health. I'm going to eat this tin of spinach. I should be less aggressive. Think deep thoughts. Uh, let's eat the spinach. Yum. What is past to? Uh, let's go to the cat. Let's be more aggressive. Okay, the cobalt. Let's pass. Uh, newt. Uh, think deep thoughts. I'm a newt. Okay. Uh, back to the ranger. Let me tell you, the I've asked Elbereth to protect us for the next delve. Continue delving. Uh, let me, okay, two pieces of loot. Thank Elbereth for protecting us. Let me rummage through our inventory. What do we have here? I'm going to put on this ring of warning. I'm going to put on this ring of searching. Let's try this ring of warning. Shiny. Blunt. Uh, meow. Here's the oracle. Allow me to provide you a consultation. Think deep thoughts. Uh, consultation. Behold the cockatrice. Um, think deep Oh no, we'll go to Blunt. Okay, Oracle. Uh, I'm going to take off this Ring of Warning. It was ugly anyway. We found two pieces of loot. We got into 21 battles. Uh, let's see. Let me rummage through inventory. I'm going to eat this egg. Oh, okay, we regained one health point. Let's go to Blunt. Um, I should be more aggressive. Let's see, the snake, enemy, uh, let's pass. Cobalt, let's pass. Human ranger, uh, think deep thoughts. I'm a party member. Okay, that's pretty deep. Oh, let's see what happens to the cat. Uh, uh oh, we found two pieces of loot. We got into 34 battles. That cat is getting pretty low on health. Um, let's go to blunt. The cat, let's go to Blunt, Mastodon. Um, I can tell you how to avoid monsters on this level. I can tell you where the treasure is. I can tell you where the good fights are. Let's pass. Vampire Lord. Pass. Okay, so I'm a ranger. Uh, let me rummage through our inventory. What do we have here? I'm going to put on this ring of warning. Shiny. Okay, back to the cat. Um, meow. Mastodon. Uh, let's pass. And pass. Continue delving. We found two pieces of loot. We got into 36 battles. We must have bumped up our level here, up to level seven. 32 hit points. Um, let me tell you about the beauty of Elbereth. Pass, let's see the cat. Let's uh, eat the egg. Blunt, high cleric of Moloch. I give you the amulet of Yandor. Okay, let's take it. Blunt, Merilith Demon. Let's blunt. Okay, back to our human. Uh, we found two pieces of loot. Thank Elbreth for protecting us. Uh, let me tell you the beauty of, oh no, I'm gonna blunt. 
Let's see the cat. Let's pass. High cleric. Let's pass. Vampire human. We'll pass. Let's pass through our whole party here. Let's see what happens. Do you think I understand what I'm doing here? No, I do not. I don't know what the, well, I know what pass means, but I don't know what blunt means in this context. Uh, I also don't know if this is going to go on forever or what. I guess until this, is this our health bar? Let's keep passing and just see what happens. Okay, we found two pieces of loot. We got into 38 battles. Okay, I'm going to keep passing. Oh, I missed somebody di died. Oh, the cat. He's down to 10. Okay, 21, down to 10. Pass. Okay, Ranger is now down to seven hit points. Cat is at one. Let's keep passing. Let's see what happens here. Human down to seven. Cat is still at one. Your entire party has died. Well, I, I think there was only a few of us, but we had the Vampire Lord, I thought. Okay, anyway, that was Blunt Quaternion. Let's see what happens when we're at the end. Okay, so it just wraps around at the beginning. Yeah, Blunt Quaternion. It was a interesting game, I think. Um, and a, a kind of neat idea. Not sure I totally get it, but that's just me. I think there's it's the kind of contest game jam that's open to many interpretations of different ideas. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Now we're moving on to an entry called Elemental Caverns, and this is by Floiza. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Yeah, let's take a look at the page here. You have arrived at the Elemental Caverns, the intersection of the domains of the three elements, fire, water, and air. At the bottom of it lies the source of their power and the means to take control of it. The dungeon is filled with old forgotten artifacts, long drained of their power. Take them and drain monsters of their essence to restore the artifacts to their former strength. They say that these essences are enough to alter the effects of each artifact depending on their elemental alignment. Notes. The controls listed in the in-game help are not updated. See below for full controls. Okay. Specifically, use E to look at restored artifacts and M to check the message log. Okay, so I'm going to keep these controls up on a, another monitor. Well, oh no, we can't. There is a, well, I guess we can just make a new tab um, just so I have them up. So move them keys, uh, use stairs, pick up items, equip. We can look around. We can forge a finished artifact. Oh, that sounds cool. We can wait in place, use our activated artifact, get this help screen, check message log, examine equipment. About. Elemental Caverns is 7DRL built around item creation. It's written in Rust with bracket lib and hex. And then here's the link to Floyd's GitHub. Very cool. And I see we have some screenshots here. Let's quickly dive into those. Okay, we got... Um, I, I guess once we play the game, we'll understand more of what each uh, element is there. So of course we got our regular dungeon. This is maybe like a mace, morning star, sorry. And here's a sword. That's pretty cool. Here's some statuses. Welcome to the elemental caverns. Okay, so that's probably the intro. Let's go on. Here's some combat. Cool. Let us take a look. Doesn't look like we'll get f full screen for now. Let's check it out though. Okay, so we can, so we're in full screen mode. Doesn't really look like it's full screen to me, but whatever. Okay, that blue text is very hard to read. Uh, so we can start or help. Let's start. Okay. So what is this here? Um, we can look around. What is it? X. Okay, we see a bob sword, a floor. Okay, so we can, can we pick up? Yes, we can. Is that anything to... Okay, hit escape. 
So maybe we're in some kind of look around mode. So here we are, we're controlling our avatar now. Uh, can we pick this up? G, you pick up a sword. Okay, and then it was I to equip it. Yeah, let's equip that sword. Oh, that's a nice sword. Okay, and then what is this? You pick up armor, okay. So how do we equip armor? Okay, are you sure this will delete the existing artifact? Oh, okay, wait a minute. So we can only have like either a sword or armor? Aw. Okay, what's H here? Okay, so it's a dribbler or blaze up. Dribbler, yeah. Okay, so we got the, oh man. Hopefully I don't have to go up and down too much. Yikes. Okay, how do I do this? I'll have to keep my mouse. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, zoop, air weak essence is sucked into your artifact. Okay, so we've got a air, oh, let's press A to forge. Okay, you forge armor which I'm already wearing. Okay, we hit the blaze up for three damage. What's this now? Uh, how do we look? X, yeah, let's try X. Uh, you see Bob stairs, okay. So then let's exit that. Okay, let's take the stairs. Okay, it's not letting us use the stairs. Let's try D. D is another stairs key. There we go. Okay. The gust splitter. That seems easy enough. Okay. Took care of all those. So as long as we're only going left and right, we're okay. As soon as we go up and down. Oh boy. Okay, uh, seven damage. We got hit for some, oh man, died. The ice walker got me. Okay, let's try again. Uh, is there a, okay, let's just refresh. That's about all we can do. Okay, start. Uh, let's see, okay, this time I'm gonna keep the sword. So I'm gonna pick pick this up. You pick up a grappling hook. Oh, very cool. And what's this? A sword, okay. I wanna equip the sword. Okay, sword. Okay. Okay, I'm only hitting for three damage. Okay. I guess this is like a level one sword. Okay, we got the gust splitter, good. All right, we got the water weak essence. Okay, let's A, forge this. Uh, you forge a sword, okay. So did it like add to my sword? I'm a little bit confused. I like the idea. I'm just a little bit confused. Okay, sorry anyone watching this. As soon as you go up or down, it starts scrolling. Okay, uh, the sword glistens with ice, slowing the guts, gust splitter. Okay, that's cool. Let's explore over here. Blech. Let's explore up there. Okay, neat. Oh, I think this is more armor. So how do we equip it? Okay, we pick up the armor. So how do we equip it without destroying what we have? Um, let's see, equipped artifact. No, as soon as I, as soon as I equip it, I destroy the sword. I don't want to destroy the sword. Okay, those are the stairs. Let's use D. Booyah. Okay, so we use that ice sword to give it some nice, sweet, slow effects. Oh boy. What am I hitting? Uh, the firehound. I could just hear the barking. Okay, no problem, no problem. 
So I don't see any loot that they drop. Unless it's like random. A random amount of loop. Loot, not loop. Random amount of loot that they drop on each combat. Ah. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy trying to scroll around. Well, that was Elemental Caverns. That's a pretty that's a pretty interesting idea. I like the the idea of trying to like use the elements and combining it on your whatever gear you have. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Hopefully, uh, maybe I'm like playing this wrong, where you you can't combine, you know, like armor and and a sword at the same time. The developer ever sees this, maybe they they I would encourage them to keep working on this. It's a neat idea. Uh, maybe just add a simple um, event listener for the uh, for the window there so that if or sorry if if any of the keys are recognized then prevent the default event happening which is why probably why that window is scrolling up and down so much every time you use the keyboard but that's a cool idea let's try the next one okay this entry is called mind sweeper orion black's mind sweeper is the proper title interesting submission page let's check it out miney one damage likes to go boom they're everywhere fiery two damage likes to spread adjacent to other fireys okay mighty four damage in fact really quite big never adjacent to any other monster carries keys okay restores one hp when we pick up a heart restores up to one heart when we get a med kit and your current facing deck direction is the arrow Carried by mighties, collect them to win. Okay, so we need the key. Attack every monster left, right up and down of your position, even if unrevealed. Attack every monster up to three spaces away in your facing direction. Reveal every surrounding empty cell. Reveal every empty cell up to three spaces away in your facing direction. The next time you're attacked, you take no damage. Oh, if you get a green thing. Okay, good. Uh, recover four HP if you pick up a heart. While exploring the inner depths of Mariana's cave, you step into a hidden chamber filled with treasures, but even more so of vicious monsters. The doors are locked, but if you defeat every mighty, they will open. Okay. This really looks like a Pico 8 game, which would be cool if it is. Uh, oh, I love the animated image here. That's a really good idea, having an animated screenshot. Definitely a good idea. Okay, arrows move around, Z special ability, X change special ability. You need to defeat all mighties, big orange monsters, to get the keys and be able to leave a level. Move around the level to open cells. Where, wherever you open a cell, it will tell you how many occupied spaces there are around it. Red means monsters, blue means treasures, and purple both. Monsters will attack you whenever revealed and will keep attacking until you defeat them. Monsters spawn according to special rules. Keep that in mind. There's some extra health lying around. Pick it wisely for maximum benefit. You have four special abilities. They don't require a turn to be activated. Some of them act according to your facing direction. The last key you pressed. The amount of treasure you pick is your score. Okay, let's try this out. It's a neat idea. So it's a take a spin on Minesweeper, but I think everyone recognized that. Okay, let's hit play. Hopefully I did. Play. Okay, good. Yep, Pico 8. Very cool. Okay, so we use arrow keys and then X and Z. Oh, okay, we can choose the level. Let's just try, uh, let's try medium. Whoops. Z. There we go. Ooh. Okay, so we unlocked one. Oh, so there's two. Now that means there's two, up to two mighties near us, right? Is that what it means? Okay, and then we've got our special abilities. Let's keep it for now. Boom, okay, we got fiery. Okay, oh, I walked right into that one. Okay, so let's see, one. Okay, we got some empty spaces here. Okay, we got some candles. Oh, 
Oh, so they just attack. Okay. So they just keep attacking us wherever we move. We can't, like, dodge them by moving away. We have to just kill them right away. Okay, two. One. Okay. Oh. Okay, that was my mistake. Okay, let's try easy. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's try, um, let's try up. Four, okay. Heart, okay, we'll save that one. Two. One, that means there's probably something right here, right? Okay, good. Three. Okay, med kit, let's keep that. Okay, we got a treasure, all right. More treasure. Let's get some heart energy there, okay, good. Is that like armor, or is it just a treasure? Probably just a treasure. Oh, I didn't mean to grab it right away. Oh well. I guess we could always use the health. Okay, we got a crown. Okay, we're getting hit. Ooh, let's go and get that med kit. Oh, I thought it would heal us for a lot more than that. My bad. Let's see, let's try some of these. Okay, that didn't do anything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Okay, up. Oh. Okay, this is going to be close. Oh, I knew it. Back to menu. Okay. Okay, let's try one more. Mines sweeper. What's full run? Let's try full run. It probably means like impossible mode. Okay, let's try. Uh... All right. Okay. Uh, reveal every empty cell up to three spaces away in your facing direction. Um. Okay, that's how you use it. Okay, so I've got that shield. We can keep... Oh, there we go. We can keep using it. Okay, let's try the, uh, let's try this one. Although, but let's maybe go right here. Oh. Let's see if that killed every monster around us. Uh oh. Okay, we need some healthier folks. Kit, good. Okay, good. Another heart. Let's go over here. One. Another heart. Treasure. Come on, more hearts. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, we're getting a lot of treasure here, folks. Oh, I knew our luck was too good. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's, uh, let's recover some HP there. Oh. 
Well, that was Minesweeper. That's a pretty cool idea. I like it. A neat little twist on Minesweeper in a roguelike way. See, in our last video, the twist was turn-based racing. And now this is a twist on Minesweeper, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's check out the next game. This is a game called Septum University by Mixed, no, Mike Your Horse. Mike Red Horse, I think that's what it is. <laughs> Not Mike Red Horse, okay, sorry about that. Mike Red Horse. Uh, a small roguelike tactics game, combat inspired by Mega Man Battle Network Combat, which is real time. The game works as a series of small scale tactical battles where you have to use elemental ammo to cast spells. The campaign is a series of choices between easier, harder battles, which will grant you different ammo for future battles. It is basically a very condensed, minimal version of a roguelike dungeon dive. Developed in seven days for the 70RL 2023. Okay, gameplay help. The first four elements that serve as ammo have different effects on your attack. Fire is your basic attack. Each point will increase the attack length by one. Shock is a longer attack. Each point will increase the attack length by two. Earth will act as a basic attack, but having at least one point in your attack will place an obstacle wherever your projectile stops. An attack with just one earth is a good way to put a barrier in front of you to tank one attack. Air acts as an enhancement to your attack. Having at least one point will cause your attack to hit only the final spot in your attack, immediately on the following turn, also skipping over any obstacles. Elements recover after a few turns, but during that time you can't attack or defend except by moving. Um, obstacles can be destroyed by hitting them, with, hitting them with any attack. However, you can only attack forward, so make sure you don't let yourself get surrounded. Enemies attack with the same elements you do. Look at the projectile path and particles to figure out what that attack is going to be. Known issues. Enemies can sometimes navigate into a corner and become off screen. Their attacks seem to wrap around and start from the other end of the screen. They will eventually move back onto the map if you keep waiting. Okay. Cool. Let's try this out. Is it Unity? Ah, it's Unity. I was just about to say, is this Unity? Now, can we put this full screen? Oh, I guess we can't. Dying. Okay. Welcome to Septum University. This school was founded long ago for training students who can help defend the world from magical threats. You won't be fighting those magical threats here, of course. That would be dangerous. Instead, you will receive practical training and engage in mock battles against your fellow students. Don't worry, no one's going to get hurt. Today, we're starting off easy, but the end of the first year will be here in no time. This battle should teach you more control over your fire. Start battle. Oh, very cool. Okay. This reminds me a lot of like a, a Wizard 101 battle. I don't know if you've ever played that MMO. I have kids, that's my excuse. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we've got a fire and we've got lightning. So let's move. Okay, and then I guess this is play. Oh, I see, okay. Um, so we're just preparing our turn. So let's do the fire. Let's see how that looks. Okay, it doesn't look so bad. They've put up an earth barrier in front of us, so let's go around it. And then cast thunder. Oh, I guess we can do one or the other. Um, how do we cancel that? Okay, let's go around it. And then move, or then let's do thunder. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Maybe we, we can use the thunder to get rid of this defense. There we go. Okay, and then let's use fire. Did we hit? Hard to tell. Let's go this way. Okay, we don't have any more spells left. Um, now, how did it say we could win more ammo? Okay, they recover after a few turns. All right. So we can wait. Uh, let's move up. 
so we don't get blitzed. Okay. Um, and then can we like shoot diagonally? I guess not. Okay, let's go back down here. Um, uh oh. I don't like that skull. But let's hit him with fire. Oh. Let's try again. Okay. Let's move this way. He's moving up. Let's move forward. Um, let's move up here. So we only have uh, lightning, lightning and fire. Okay, let's try. I don't know how far the fire goes. Was it one square? The fire is your basic attack. Oh, okay, we can make it stack. Okay, let's try that out. Let's just keep moving around until it regenerates and we get a big stack of fire. Let's see how long will that take. Uh-oh. I think he's doing the same thing. Uh-oh. Berries. No, I think that's Earth. Okay. That way I'm... like, wasting my time here in terms of not being able to go down at all. So let's move this way. Let's move that way. Okay, I don't see the fire stacking yet. Maybe it doesn't stack. Um, okay, let's back up. Oh, we just missed that one. Okay, let's go forward. Or up, sorry, not forward. Dread, I was hoping that fire would st stack so that we could get like three or four fires regenerated. Okay, well, we're gonna have to Has some power to get rid of these. There we go. And then let's move up. And then let's use lightning. Okay. Okay, well done. Looks like we're coming up on the end of year one. You're going to take part in an exam now to see how well you're doing. Decide which approach you're going to take, and remember that tougher challenges will give you better results. Depending on what you pick, you might gain shock, earth, or air. Okay, a risky fight, a fair fight. Uh, let's try a fair fight, and I don't know what this is. Is that, like, supposed to be kids in your class? Well, students, maybe not kids. Okay, a fair fight. Three against one, okay, but we got two fires. So let's move up one. And let's use our fire. Oh, we got one, holy smokes. And let's move down. Let's wait a turn. Let's move up. Drat, they moved. Um, did we get him or not? Hard to tell. Yeah, we did. Okay. So we're just going to move back and forth. Well then. Oh, maybe these are like the years we have to get through until we get to the final level, whatever this is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12, maybe year 12. Well done, looks like we're already coming up at the end of year two. You're gonna take part in exam now to see how well you're doing. Decide which approach you're gonna take and remember that tougher challenges will give you better results. Depending on what you pick, you might gain earth, fire, air. Okay, so the same message. Uh, let's do a fair fight. Okay, so we got two fires, two lightnings, and an earth. So let's move up here and let's do the, oh, let's move up here to bypass that. Let's hit the fire, drat, back down here. Okay, we got one of them. 
Um, let's move down here. Let's move back up here. Oh, okay, let's move down. And then, oh, they put an earth. Ah, that's pretty cheese ball. They put an earth barrier in the way. Now I gotta waste. Let's see, I'll do the lightning. Okay, I thought I could do up to two. Um, okay, how do I undo a move? Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's go back down. Oh, it's another earth thing. Jeez. I gotta spend so much time doing this. Okay. And let's get him. Oh, we didn't get him. Let's go up. Let's get that lightning. I wish you could have like lightning, like four squares. Four squares deep. That kind of thing. Okay. Let's go back down this way. I can't believe how long I'm surviving, y'all. I'm usually not good at these games at all, as you can tell. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, what a, another cheese ball move by the AI. Okay, let's get the lightning on this one. And let's go down here. Let's get this guy, got him, okay. Uh, let's use lightning on this one and okay we missed him okay we need him to get just a little bit closer okay that was pretty cheese bally okay it's not cheese bally building a barrier just it's like come on dude let's go uh-oh. Is the AI stuck? Could be. No, don't get stuck. Okay, what do I do here? As it said here. Um, oh, enemies can sometimes navigate and become off screen. They will eventually move back if you keep waiting. Okay. Maybe this is one of those bugs. Okay, we got more barriers. See, how does he get those two, two shot fires? Oh, now a three shot. I mean, how does he get them? I thought this was supposed to be a fair fight. Wait, what? Fire dart. <gasps> You can combine them. Okay, I did not know that. Fire blast, let's see what happens. Oh, he's gonna move. That is pretty cool though, okay. Game changer. Okay, let's let's do another fire dart. Poof, we got him with the earth. Okay. You're about to find battle two of the two in the current choice. A fair fight. Okay. I don't know what's going on there. Let's combine fire blast with fire dart, lava throw, oh man, that's cool. Let's do a lava throw. Got him, oh man, that is so cool. Lava throw, okay. So it creates a brick wall by the end of it. 
Okay, let's move out of the way of that one. Okay, let's see if we can... Okay, we get rid of that. Let's do the fire. Let's do the lava throw. Oh, we got him. Nice. Well done. Looks like we're coming up on the end of year three. You're going to take part in an exam now to see how you're doing. Okay, same text. Decide, okay, depending on what you take. Okay, you might get, you might gain fire or shock. Easy way out, one battle, risky fight. Okay, let's go for the risky fight. And let's stack a lot of these. It's pretty exciting when you do that. Oh, let's go up instead. Looks like he's trying to do the same thing. Okay, let's go back down. And then let's do... Okay, we got the fireball ahead of us. Okay, we got one. All right. Let's work on this one now. Let's use a lava throw. And then move down out of the way. Got him. Okay. Lava throw. That's the key to victory here. Ah, uh, your fo Okay, so now we got to do the risky fight. I thought we did the risky fight. Oh well. Okay, let's try a lava throw. Oh, what happened to my lava throw? Okay. Let's go down one. Okay, got him. Let's, uh, oops. Let's move back. Let's go down. And then let's do a shock to get him out of the way. And then we'll cast another lava throw okay we got him all right well done looks like we're coming up the end of year four all right let's try let's try a risky fight we have, to, we have to do both battles anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter which one we pick. Okay, and then let's go down again. Oh, that's pretty sneaky. Let's move up one. Uh oh, is he gonna make it out of there? Oh, he he did. Nice. I don't know how they, you dodged that, but let's go this way. Let's go down here. Okay, let's take out that. Come on, lava throw. Okay, we got one. Um, let's get out of there before we get burned up. Prepare another lava throw. Let's move. Got him. 
Okay, final exam. Okay, congratulations are in order, but it's finally time. You're about to graduate. But before this, there's one final test and you have to use everything you've learned. Hopefully what you've gained has been enough to survive and thrive in the future. No rewards in this time except graduation. Good luck. Good luck, pilot. Okay, oh, here we go. So we got wind. So let's get rid of some of these. Zap, zappy. Zap. Okay, let's move over here. And then let's unleash the lava throw. Okay, I'll do one pass. Got him. Okay, we got barriers here now. Let's take those out. And let's do a, let's try arranging winds and lightning. Oh my gosh, okay. That was OP. Um, what do we got left to work with here? Let's just do a lava throw again and see what happens. Okay, so now we got a wind. Let's do another raging winds with lightning. Boom. Holy cow, that was OP. Nice. You win. Play again. No, I'm not going to play again. That was a fun game. That was a neat idea. It was like an isometric uh, card battle game, almost. Uh, I've never played Mega Man Battle Network, so I'm not sure like how... like familiar it like how how what's the word i'm looking for how analogous it is analogous that is to Mega Man battle network uh like if it's exactly the same way that battle network works only here it's a roguelike wizardry kind of fight but whatever the case uh, i think it's a really neat idea hopefully it can be built upon like everything else that we've played so far and yeah that you can you know, maybe add some sound effects or um, what else? Maybe like a few tactics, like maybe maybe in the very first level you could have like a small, I know I hate to use the T word, you could use a small tutorial where you can at least let, let the player know that they can combine those elements. Um, I guess I, maybe it said it in the text. I bet you it says it right here in the text. Okay, so just talks about the four elements having different ammo, but it doesn't really mention that you can combine them all together, which is really cool. Um, yeah, no, nice one, Mike Redhorse. And, and now we are tackling our final entry in this video, Yellow Game About Falling Things. Interesting title. This one is by Evgeny Petrov. I hope I said that correctly. Uh, let's check out the page here. So you are white thingy. Use left and right arrow keys to operate the game. Press enter or space or click button to start. Okay, cool. And we got a few screenshots here. And it looks like you are, well, I can't really tell what you're doing. Um, let's just try this out. It looks interesting though from these shots. Okay, let's run the game. Hopefully we can put this one in full screen. Uh, let's see. Drat. Looks like we can't. Oh, well. Okay, so we've got some geometric shapes here. We've got a button here. I think that's a button. Let's try this out. Okay. Uh, I can't click on these. I can click on that. So maybe that means like level one. Okay, let's see here. Oh, cool. Okay. So we, sp we can spin the cube right or left. Oh, and it got me. Let's try that again. Maybe that means game over, whatever that is. That's the geometric shape for game over. Okay, so we've got to somehow survive without dying. Okay, let's. So if we fall on the. Do we cry? Okay, so we can't. We don't destroy them. Let's get out of there before we get crushed by the red blocks. Ugh, wrong way. Okay. Um, okay, how do I beat these blocks? 
Let's see if I make them hit each other. Is that the way to do it? Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, how come it didn't work last time? Okay. There we go. Level two. Cool. Okay. So we got a field of vision here in our, in our sphere. Oh man. Crushed. Okay. Let's try again. Okay. Oops, wrong way. Oh well. Got one. Got two. Okay. Now we've got a green dot and Okay, so if I spin it this way and then back this way, I get that one. And then oops, wrong way. Okay, got that one. There's the green dot. Let's take care of him. Got him. And let's go back down this way. Boom. Oh, he had a shield or something. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, let's fall down that way and then back down that way. Done. All right. Level three. Okay, not bad. This is a really neat idea. It gets a little confusing, but. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, keep going this way, spin that way, spin that way, spin that way. Okay. Oh, I need more momentum, I guess. Maybe that's what the trick is. I can't go right next to a red. <clears throat> I gotta have more mo momentum. Um, okay. Let's fall back down this way, this way. Okay, that didn't help me at all. Uh, let's go back down this way. Okay, good. Boom, got that one. Oh, that was a bad choice. Okay, that was pretty good. So if I spin around this way, oh, I knew it. I'll spin around that way, got that one. I think if you get the green ones, you grow a little bit bigger or you get a shield of some kind. Uh, so let's spin it. Oh, I didn't mean to go that way. Let's go this way. Okay. And then back down here. Oops. It's easy to get like directionally confused. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. It's easy to spin the wrong way. Okay, so I want to go this way and go that way. Fall back down this way. Okay, and then bang, got him. Okay, got my shield. Let's see, can we take care of these? Oh, we can't. We can't knock out those circles. Oh, that was a bad idea. I walked right into that one. Okay. Let's see. Let's fall down this way. And then I'm trying to chase that other one. I'm chasing that red one right here. Oh. No, I didn't mean to do that. Crushed. Okay, you can't continue where you left off. Let's see, are any of these clickable? Is it like a map of some kind? Nope. Can you... Okay, back at level one, I guess. There's no score, there's nothing like that, but that's all right. Uh, okay, there we go. Level one down. Let's try this one. Okay, we got two in a row, nice. It should be like a combo counter. I don't know, something like that. Bang, okay, got that one. And let's work our way around again. Yes, okay. Nope. Um, Let's go this way. 
Got him. Okay, level three. Okay. Oh, they fell out of view. Okay, let's not... Uh... Oh, this one's going to be hard. Got him. Okay. Oh, that was tough. Should not have done that. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, got rid of that one. Got the green shielding. Um, let's see. If I spin that way, the ball is going to chase me down and eat up one of my shields, but I don't see any other way. Oh, that was unfortunate. Okay, let's try this way. So I need to like be really careful of that ball. Okay, um, it's now right above me. Okay, so if I spin that way, the green one is gonna fall on me, which will then give me a shield, which then should hopefully... Oh, okay, I miscalculated. I got the extra HP from the shield, but uh, then I got killed by the other one ahead of me. Yeah, that's a pretty cool idea. Nice one, Evgeny. It's just a really creative game. Uh, creative entry into the 7DRL. Thanks a lot for making this. And I had a really good time playing it. I don't know if you're intending to add anything more to this, like, like sound effects or, I don't know, maybe like a score of some kind, depending on how many red blocks you get. And I'd encourage you to keep adding to it if you really enjoy it. And I think it's a really interesting concept and something that you can probably definitely build upon. Well, that's it for today's collection, today's grab bag of 7DRL entries. I hope you enjoyed what we went through today. Give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see and get more notifications of other videos that I'll be putting up for other 7DRL entries. All right, this is me signing off. Have a good day wherever you are. Peace.